I tipped him good though. I tipped him real good though. Oh, you did. But um, yeah. It... We should tip him. I was always wondering about tipping when I had I yeah I had two that dropped me off for a doctor's appointment one time, and I just took an Uber back and I think I gave him like a five dollar tip on a ten dollar a charge. Yeah, that's good. That's very good because that's that's what I do. I always give them like five bucks at least, okay. you know. So, so I, I mean, it's. A lot of times it's the wheelchair, it freaks people out and yeah. stuff like that. They don't know yeah. what they're getting themselves into. And so, yeah. you know, it's not, it's not too bad with me, but, but with other people, you know, they're, yeah. it's a lot more medical issues and stuff like that going on. So they do have people with medical issues though. Yeah, they, 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 they do. Um, I was asking a guy, what was the most difficult ride that you have ever had and he said um he said there was a a guy that weighed about 400 pounds oh, and um i had to pick him up from the hospital and this and the guy that i that i was that that was telling me this story mm -hmm. he um he is the type of driver where he doesn't touch the passengers at yeah. all he doesn't he doesn't want to have any liability at all. So yeah. he doesn't touch. He, I mean, he. It was amazing. He even touched my wheelchair, you know, mm -hmm. but he did, and he put it in the back and stuff like that. But I mean, as far as me getting out of the out of the car or anything like that, he doesn't. You know, he didn't hold my wheelchair or anything like that. He want. I did everything. So, but, but uh, that was the same type of same guy that had that. 400 pound gentleman that yeah. he so it was it was a challenge you know it I was one time when I yeah when I was driving maybe that little Audi we used to have All right uh, do you remember the Audi yep. that little Audi and I had I had these big it was the girls there were must have been three of them and they were all heavy Indian girls oh okay oh, all I right think it was on, I thought the thing was on the ground yeah. I mean, there was just such a huge difference when they got in. Yeah, yeah. Took them home. My, um, one of my drivers, his name was John also, and um, he used to live in Kingman. Uh -huh. okay. And uh, there's those Indian reservations yes. right near Kingman. Yes, I don't know what the name of those Indian, that tribe is called. There. But he said that he used to work with swans, the the people that drive the swans, you know, yeah, that drive right around and the frozen dinners and stuff. Right. Yeah. So he used to work with them, and um, he uh, he would go out onto the reservation every once in a while, and they loved him out there because they hardly get you know very much to choose from out there. Okay. So he, they, they thought he was the best thing since sliced bread, you know. Yeah. So, but he was a he was a very cool guy, and yeah, we we. His daughter was, uh, she was, in the. Uh, uh, she, she was in uh, in Colorado, she, Colorado University. She went oh, to, yeah. she was, but she was a basketball player. So, like, she's one of those, like, is her name Caitlin? The, the one right now, the real pop, the girl that's just, she was uh, in college, Ohio, maybe. Oh, yeah, I did hear about that. Caitlin, Caitlin, what's her first name? I don't know. I know, I can't remember. But she's in the news all the time. She's like seven feet two or something. Oh, okay. All those girls on that. Women's basketball team are really tall. Right. Every one of them is really tall. Yeah. I mean, she's the one that shoots the the basketballs from mid court and gets it in the basket. Nice. I know it's a long way. It's yeah. not like they're underneath it. Yeah. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really strong. All right, that's yeah. very strong lady. Really know what they're doing as far as getting that basket in the hoop. You know, we played the women's wheelchair basketball team. 
And um, the ball was a little bit, not, not much though, but it was a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter. And it was a little bit smaller, just a little bit. No, it wasn't not, wasn't a whole lot. So, but they they beat the hell they beat the heck out of us though. So they beat us every time. They beat us. Yep. So determined, I guess. I don't know their quality mistakes. They were very organized. They were a very organized team, and they used to just beat the beat the snockers out of us. And they did very good. Him get yep. She suffers a lot. Oh, I know. She loves to be petted. I don't pet her all the day. I don't spend my life petting the dog. We I should. give her attention, but I don't do it every minute. But she's always there. I'm always with her. Right. So I think that says a lot, though. I'm sure they always wake up. Yes, it does. It has to be alone. Yep. Very helpful. Because my neck, everything has this stupid arthritis in it. My neck, my hips. Oh, okay. Everywhere. Yeah. What's Ellie doing here? She is in Phoenix. Oh. Yep. What's in Phoenix? Her brother? Sister? She has to, she has to, uh, well, she's taking care of, um, my, uh, she's taking care of Isaac and Alexis, my son and daughter's, uh, kids. Oh. Uh, um. Babysitter? Let's see. Um, Noah is getting his, he's, he's checked, they're, the neuro neurologist or whoever uh -huh. uh, is checking him out in Phoenix. I guess there's uh, some really good uh, doctors that they have over there. Most of the kids are autistic, aren't they? Yep. Uh, I, I think so. Uh, and uh, so they're finding out, trying to f find out some more information about him. And um, so Alejandra is, is taking care of uh, Mateo while uh, Alexa and uh, Isaac are okay. helping out with... They moved to Phoenix? Uh, Noah. Uh, no, they just go there. They they came here to Tucson. Well, they, they went to the hospitals here in Tucson, but the hospitals here in Tucson, the doctors weren't, they didn't, didn't like the didn't like the care that we were getting happening so they went so they tried it in Phoenix and they were a lot happier with the care in Phoenix so yeah did she drive them up there uh Alexa drove yeah oh, okay. yeah that's so funny mm -hmm. that's a, not too bad I guess no it's not too bad yesterday it was Yesterday it was cooler too. Yes. So he's you know, he's still working for the post office. So he's still what are we doing? Packages, I think. Yep, sorting. Sorting packages. He still does the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, and then I met, um, she said that she she was born in the Congo, because um, I, I said, uh, you were. one of the Uber drivers that I had. Oh, she was born in the Congo. Okay. Born, born in the Congo, and I. Was she uh, African, yeah. African American? Yeah, yeah, okay. she was, and, and uh, she was a very, ni very nice lady. And, um, anyway, uh, you know, cause then once I tell them about the wheelchair, usually they, you know, if they're women, they're like, they cancel on me, you know, they, they, oh, okay. it's very, it's, it's, 
it's challenging but then it's challenging with a man but then if it's you know if he's in a wheelchair it's even more challenging you know for right. a woman so anyway uh yeah she she was in the congo she li she was born in the she was born and then in congo in the Cong in congo and she uh moved to um um belgium i think okay. yeah she moved to belgium and then uh when she said that, I said, I said, how many languages do you speak? And uh, she said, I speak five. <laughs> oh my God. And I said, uh, how many, how many, how many languages does your boyfriend speak? And she said, he speaks two. Um, he might speak three. Well, two and a half, she said. And uh, so anyway, but she was a nice lady to talk to. Who brought her here? Paulus? Uh, we didn't, I don't know. I don't know. I oh, We talked okay. about this, that, and the other things. Sometimes, uh, like I talked to a guy that was in Sudan, and then he, um, there... Ex exiled? No, there, there's a, there's someplace else that he went. It maybe it's exile. I don't know that. I can't remember the definition of what exile. What, what is it? It's he. Well, ex, I think it was ex, he was exiled to or to another place, and yeah. uh, but it was also it was also in. Uh, in Europe. He was kicked out of Congo? No, no, no. That was a lady. I, w I was talking to a lady that was, she was born in Congo. She, but she lived, she moved there. She moved from there when she was eight. So she, oh. I think her parents, you know. Yeah. But, um, but I was talking to this other Uber, Uber driver and he lived in, um, I can't remember what I just said. He lived in. Uh, he li he lived in Sudan. And then uh, he moved to this other place. Uh, yeah, because there was there was a lot of wars going on yeah. in Sudan, yeah. so he moved yeah. to this other place, and uh, uh, then he moved from there to this area that is the south of France um but it's north of Egypt so it's uh I can't remember the name of it but anyway he yeah Oh, definitely in Europe. But Alexa, what what countries are south of France? I guess she's not working right now. Let me look here. So your Alexa doesn't work? Oh, I, I, I guess don't not. Think she's called Alexa. It's Amazon. Different name. Oh. Amazon. Oh. Which countries are south of France? Spain. Seven France is located in France. Now, what what is, what countries are south of France? Spain. Andorra and Spain are the countries located to the south of France. Spain Portugal. is south. Portugal. Portugal's off the coast, and there's a bunch of there's a bunch of islands too, though. And then you go into. Uh, I mean, e southeast then. Southeast. Italy. Um, A little bit north of Italy. North of Italy is Switzerland. West of Switzerland. France. South of South of France, though. That's 
Spain. Portugal. Portugal. South of Portugal. Uh, we get into Africa. Okay. So where is... Amazon, what is north... What is north of uh, Egypt? The Mediterranean Sea is located north of Egypt. What is... Amazon, what is what is east of uh, the Mediterranean Sea? The Amazon rainforest is located in South America and is one of the largest rainforests in the world. It spans several countries, including Brazil, Colombia, Peru, and more. The rainforest is home to a vast number of species of plants and animals, many of which are unique to the region. It is also a crucial source of biodiversity and plays an important role in the regulation of the global climate. East of, east of, uh, east of what? East of Egypt. Amazon, what is west of, what is west of Iran? The worldatlas.com. Iran is bordered by Armenia and Azerbaijan in the northwest, Turkmenistan in the northeast, Afghanistan and Pakistan in the east, Iraq and Turkey in the west. Yeah, I think it was Turkey that he, that. Yeah, it might have been Turkey. Yeah, there was a, another guy, another Uber driver that I had that he was lived in Turkey for a little while. North and Syria and Iraq. Oh, Syria. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you see it over there. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Oh, you got a dilemma, honey bunny. Got some food over there. How are you going to get to it? Go underneath my wheelchair. Here. There you go. There you go, honey bunny. 